Hey, what's up everyone? Hippo TC here. And in today's video, we are going to cover everything that's coming in the new update for Sea of Thieves, the Vaults of the Ancients. There is a lot to cover. So sit back, grab a grog, and let's jump into the video. This new update has a lot in it with a new voyage type that we can pick up from the gold hoarders where we go out and seek out treasure vaults that are scattered across the seas. We finally get to see dogs and there is the shrouded ghost finally added to the game. Well, I mean, sort of. There's a shrouded ghost costume that you can get. The shrouded ghost is a lie. First, let's talk about the vaults of the ancients. With the ever looming threat of Flameheart, the gold hoarders have decided to hide all their treasure in treasure vaults. These new voyage types can be picked up from any of the gold hoarder representatives once you reach rank 25. In addition, the leader of the Bildrats, Lariana, has returned and is now offering all players a voyage to seek out the treasured lost vault keys. Now these new voyage types task players with finding the location of hidden keys by seeking out torn fragments of a map buried beneath the sand. You will need to piece together the fragments to complete the map and plot your course to the key. To help pirates on their journey, you will get an enchanted golden wayfinder that will direct you to the elusive torn map pieces. You can return these keys to a gold hoarder or the reapers, but I mean, we're pirates. You now have a key to unlock a treasure vault. So you could return the key or you could take this key and go open a vault yourself. These treasure vaults are scattered across the Sea of Thieves. So you will need to make sure that you find the specific one and that key that you have will give you the clue that you need to find it. Once the treasure vault has been opened, your crew will have a limited time to grab as much treasure as possible before the vault is sealed once more. You can grab piles of gold, treasure chests, trinkets, but the real question is what can you grab before the time runs out? The real prize requires pirates to find vault medallions and solve the altar's mystery to reveal the chest of the ancients. Now you have to remember that the vault door will slowly close as time ticks on, so make sure you're out of the vault by then because being on the wrong side of the door when the time reaches zero well let's just say you're going to take a quick trip to the ferryman with these new voyages you also get some new commendations that you can unlock and with these commendations you also get new sales that you can collect from Lariana. There's also a few new Xbox and Steam achievements. Golden Retriever, no mound left behind, and we don't need no maps. Alongside these achievements, we also see some new live events for this update. So definitely go to see if these events hub to check that out and make sure you are informed on all the new live events. Outside of this new awesome voyage type, we also see some new things added to the Pirate Emporium and the black market. We finally get to have dogs join us on our adventures, a free emote giveaway and new emotes, a shrouded ghost costume, and a few other things as well. So make sure to stop by the Pirate Emporium when you log in and check that out. And also again, the black market, you wanna make sure that you go look at that as well. Other improvements and updates we see added to the game are around accessibility with a single stick camera, the ability to turn off auto float and auto center camera, and some improvements around the UI navigation. We also have a toggle to talk option in game, which is awesome. It'll make it a little bit easier for you to engage with other pirates. You do not have to hold down left alt anymore or whatever key line that you use. With combat and hit registration, we also get a few updates. We see a fix for the glitch where you could become invulnerable. We also see some improvement around hit registration when you're on top of a ladder, so that will really, really help when attacking other pirates, especially the boarders when they get on your ship. And the last thing that we see improved upon is cannonball hit registration when attacking other pirate ships. 
There's a few other things that I didn't quite get to in this video, so definitely check out the patch notes for this update. But with that being said, I am very excited for this new update. What are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you liked this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope to see you out on the seas.